morning quirky birders and welcome to episode three of your daily art challenge. I do hope you're enjoying all of these challenges um, this week. Um, so yesterday we completed a really quirky little pickup truck um, with some flowers in the back. Um, on Monday, our first episode, it was um, a little side view of a pickup truck that you were able to customise um, and put anything in the back of the truck. Um, well, today we're going to do something in a little bit more detail. So here is the, um, the line drawing for today's design. Um, so we've just got this little pickup truck um, and he's sat upon um, a road um, and we're going to do something a little bit different um, with this one. And we're also going to have some fun with wet on dry and also wet on wet. And it's the wet on wet where we shall be starting. What we're going to do to begin with is using a nice soft brush. Um, and you can use something um, with a nice big um, sort of bristles on there. We're just going to wet all of the area behind our pickup truck. So what we're going to do is we're just going to just add the water to this background of our pickup truck. We just we don't need to flood the area too much with water, but we just want to make sure that there's some good coverage. Being careful around the drawing, because that drawing will take you a little while today, so you do need to be a little bit careful once you've completed it. So just make sure we've got a good coverage of water on there. Now, the technique that we're going to do today, we have done before. What we're going to do to begin with is we need to just put in a little bit of um, sky. So I'm going to use a nice sort of grey, purpley, bluey colour. We'll just wash that along the top there. Still using this big brush, you don't need to be too particular with it. some little cloud-like scribbles on there. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the colour green and still use that larger brush. I'm just going to drop the colour green all along that baseline there. And we'll do the same along here and around the little car or the truck, should I say. And then we're going to tip the board up. I 
And what that will create is it'll just create these lovely sort of runs. So you can get it going again a bit more if you haven't got enough. Put a bit more paint on there. And the same over the top. And I'll drop in there as well. And then we'll lift it up again. And you just end up creating all of these lovely runs um, in the background there. Okay, now this is just the underpainting. So we're going to be building on this um, as the painting goes. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to blot the excess around the tape. And we're just going to leave that just as is. Just blot the excess up along here. And we're just going to end up working with these lovely shapes in just a moment. So just get rid of any of that excess again. Tissues melting. Okay. Right, so the next bit of wet on wet that we're just going to do is the road. So all I'm going to do is, again, wet the road. And we'll come around our little pickup truck. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the colour grey so I'm going to mix a little bit of the, the grey in my palette with some white and then we just want to create that nice soft wash for the road that our little truck sat upon You can have areas where it's sort of pooling, that's absolutely fine. Once it's dried, it's just going to create these lovely little shadows. And we will be coming back over this. This is pretty much just going to be almost being used as underpainting. And then we'll be working on it again. In a bit more detail. A bit more around the car.
we go. Okay. So we just now need to leave that to dry for just a little while, um, just so it's dry enough for us to carry on working with the image. So let me just leave that to dry for just one moment and I'll come back to you very, very shortly and we'll carry on this video for today. Okay, so our background now is drying enough to work on. And what we're going to start to do next is we're going to start to work on some of the underpainting on our little pickup truck. Now, paintbrush wise, you can use a size five so I've got my um, size five here um, and we're just going to um, just start with some of the underpainting on our little truck. Now, our truck is a very rusty truck this time, so we need to be mixing some sort of rusty sort of colours. So I have got some browns here um, that's in, that are in my palette set. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of red. Um, because I just want to create just a really nice sort of rusty um, patina um, on the surface of our little truck. And you can do that by adding, like I say, just the tiniest bit of red to your colour brown. And that's what we're going to do. We'll do that all the way along on here. So we'll do the, the browns and just have various tones and shades of colour. If it goes a little bit too red, then pop in a little bit of yellow ochre type colour. So I've got four varying tones of colour on the sort of rusty spectrum. Okay, and what we're going to do as well is we're going to allow the white of the paper to provide us with the highlights as well. So we're not going to be too sort of illustrative um, with how we are painting. We're going to be quite loose and build the colour as we go. So I've got my sort of browny colour to begin with and I'm going to just paint that along the line of the wing and then we'll come down on the edge of the mudguard come around the headlight down the front. Now it doesn't matter for this painting if you're getting sort of brush strokes on your on your paper. Um, that sort of patination can actually work in your favour, especially when we're we're painting a rusty and sort of fairly beaten up little pickup truck. You can allow the paint to sit in places. And don't always be tempted to reload your brush with paint. You can actually still continue to move that paint around just by wetting your brush. And just pushing that paint around. Like so. So we've got one of the mud guards done. And 
let's do the one in the rear. Again, just push that paint to those edges. Change the colour slightly for the bonnet. And like I say, this is just the underpainting. We are going to be coming over the top of this with some detail as the painting builds over the course of the next couple of days now. Coming on down the front by the grill. Now let's change the tone yet again on that paint and this time we'll paint around the door so there's four different colors along that sort of rust spectrum that we've mixed today And for the underpainting, you're going to use all four.
then lastly, we can just use a true sort of browny colour. And we'll just paint in that board at the bottom there. Like so. There we go. Now the next thing that we can do is we can just do a little bit of detail on the tyres um, and for the tyres I'm going to use a dark brown So we're just going to paint the tyres. Let's just give them a little bit of a white wall to the effect of the tyres as well. Again, you can just push that paint towards the base of the tyre. We'll just do the same up the back here. I'm just going to use that dark brown just to paint in the, the bench seat in the cab of the truck. And we'll also use the brown in the rear of the truck. Okay, so that's a lot of the underpainting completed on our little, um, on our pickup truck. What we can now do is we can turn our attention to the trees. So what we're going to do next is we're going to swap and pick up our nice large soft brush. 
and I'm going to work at the back here to begin with and what we're going to do is we're just going to drop water again along that almost that horizon line and then we're going to pick up a nice rich dark green and drop that paint into that water and then again I'm just going to lift that up and just let that run that needs to just get it going a little bit and just get that going get my tissue and just blot off the excess. And then you can just use the tissue and just stipple through the green. And what this process does, it's just about sort of playing really. You're allowing the paint to do the work for you. And then you'll be able to soon see the patterns that it forms. And you then just work with those patterns and shapes that are formed as a result of the water. And just do a mixture of sort of stippling with your brush and also dabbing with your tissue to create that really nice background effect. Carry on. I'll do a little bit this side. Again, just stipple to create that lovely sort of soft, hazy texture. Do one more layer of colour on that background and this time we'll do a nice sort of vibrant lime green. Put that in around the little car or the truck should I say, it's not a car is it? Again, 
and just stipple with the tissue. create the background that we're looking for. So we've got some really nice patterns going on there and some really nice textures that we can work with. Um, once these have actually dry, we'll be then coming back over them again and over painting them. But we just need to let them to dry now and then we'll work with them again. But there's some really nice texture and patterns going on. It's quite a nice soft background there. Okay, I'll just take up some of that excess just to make sure it's going to dry nicely. Okay, so the next colour that we're going to use on our little um, pickup truck is the colour grey. Now I want a really nice pale grey, nice steely grey really. Um, so to get a nice steely grey you can just drop a little bit of blue in with your, your grey um, just to give it that sort of real nice cool tone. And what we're going to do with the grey is we'll paint in the wheels Do the one at the rear. We're also going to paint in the front of this bumper using the grey. And 
do the headlights as well. Okay, and the final little bit that we'll do with the grey is we'll just do around our little front grille. And all I'm going to do is just follow the pencil line. I do want the white of the paper to provide us with the, the highlights to the grill. And then we'll just pop in that window mirror up there. Okay, well, I've done as much as I can do for today um, and we need to leave it there. We're in danger of overworking it. We're in danger of adding too much water to the paper. So it does need to have a period in which to dry. So I'll be back tomorrow um, where we will be putting in some of the final details and really building on this charming little picture of the pickup truck. So I'll be back tomorrow to continue with the painting. Hope you've enjoyed it. Goodbye.